Now, look at this skin difference right here. Look at this. We have a Christmas tree on the left, and we have a Horizon skin that you can't really see very much. Oh, Amari saying something to Daz. Yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. So the con the premise of this video today is what we're highlighting right here. So shout out to Oval because I had to go find somebody who purchased this skin. He kind of did a little wave there. Oval has a TikTok channel I have in the description down below. He watches the content. He helped out with today because I think it's so important that you can see that skins make a big difference. And I mean, you see it right here, just if you were hiding in a corner, the difference that it makes. And I have a you know, friendly fire turn on, just so you can see it, even if I look in third person, how I look standing next to them. Look at that, that is a massive difference there. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go on certain maps and highlight some of my more favorite Watson skins and compare skins that you should wear on KC, skins that you should wear on World's Edge, or just more colorful maps. And keep that in mind, think of your skin as your camo and how important it is to utilize these skins. Cause they're, trust me, when you're a neon sign like this, it's important, even Oval just a minute ago, he was freaking out saying, I love this skin, don't get me wrong, this is a great skin, but it doesn't give you a competitive advantage advantage you're looking for the competitive advantage you don't want that disadvantage and even when we look at things such as like the heirlooms action, it's really important that sometimes you do light up when you're standing in the dark it does kind of hide a beacon towards where you're going and even if you're a bright skin like this it can draw attention so keep that in mind when you're picking skins and let's segue over and go to the first map on KC and talk about some of my favorite Watson skins and why they work and sometimes they don't let's get into it yeah they're really bright like if we're both standing next to this color palette and you we're, we're trying to guess and I'm, I'm recording this really quick because this is a good one. I'm adding this as filler because we're just kind of dissecting and working through this. But look at that. Like if we wanted to say who would see us, I mean, it's kind of clear which one you would see faster. You would see the Pathfinder and I kind of blend in a little bit better because of the color palette. Now for this section, what I'm going to highlight really quick is that outline we were kind of talking about earlier really comes with anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing can really smooth out an image and really kind of make it look prettier. But when you're playing a game for competitive purposes, when we turn this off, you notice that they stick out a bit more than they did. And you turn it back on, you'll kind of have more of this, I guess you call it like a smear effect. Because it's just trying to, you know, smooth out the jaggies is what they call them. And they, a, a person can be harder to see. And so what we're looking at here is the Watson. And I'm going to record my POV. And what we're going to do is we're going to swap with some more vibrant skins of this map. And then we're going to go to World's Edge and kind of talk about that as well. But even with the skin, it's a little bit harder to see and pull focus. So if somebody's using, let's say, a head glitch, go to stand up here, Mari, if you don't mind, and grab like a head glitch for us. And next to the rock, you're not as obvious as, let's say, a brighter skin that kind of calls attention. You got to remember that it's all about, let me make sure I turn off anti sync. You really blend in. I'm not gonna, there you go. A little bit better, but the skins do make a, a pretty sizable difference. So when you're queuing in, you got to keep that relative in mind what skins and colors are using. So Mari, if you don't mind, record my your POV. We're going to switch to it and you can take a look at my skin right here. And then this the one I'm using is Solar, the Solar skin I really like. And if, let's say if I'm using like a head glitch right here and hiding on a rock and looking down at, at Mari here, kind of peeking around the corner. The difference that it makes so we imagine what you saw at the beginning with the pathfinder skin the difference that it does make keep in mind the color palette and what places that you're going to land because some other places do have some greenery and you may stick out but again the whole purpose is to ensure that you you don't get spotted and that you're using your skin to your advantage think of your skin as camo if you ever felt like you're pulling focus too much from your squad it's probably because you're very bright and colorful and trust me i've had to make the decision with vantage several several times all right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring in the more colorful skins. We're gonna land in the same spot here. All right, now we're back and you can see the skins. It definitely already pops a lot more and where your eyes will gravitate towards and making sure you hit your shots. It's like if you were playing Aim Lab, Kovacs, Insert Aim Trainer and the test range and you're trying to hit something a lot more vibrant, you're gonna be able to hit that a lot easier than something that probably looks a little dull and blends in with the background. So let's uh, swap places, Mari. I know you got your POV recording and just kind of standing here. And this is again, Wired for Speed is my favorite skin. I love this skin, it's my favorite. But I have to also be mindful that the skin is not going to be ideal when trying to hide more on KC or try not to pull focus on the map. It may work more in Broken Moon, works on a lot of different maps, but on this map specifically, it's really going to stick out quite a bit. So let's take a look from my POV, looking at Mari peeking over the rock there. And you see just like right away, the blue just really grabs your attention and grabs your eyes. So you got to keep in mind with that. We saw two skins that really blended in, and now we saw two skins that don't. This is what the pros do. This is what they think about, especially when they're playing at a high level and skins that are good. So we're going to do now, let's go to World's Edge to kind of reinforce this point on the snow side of the map and how impactful it can be. And then we'll provide some more tips and wrap up. Now what we're looking at here is on World's Edge, the Pathfinder skid, which is very white, really, you know, it's a lot more hidden. 
Now let's swap places. Mari's gonna look at me. I am a very, very bright color right now. And moving around, you can see that this is gonna be a much easier target to identify and hit, especially at a distance. And those things do matter, especially when you're trying to land your shot. And we'll just kind of reinforcing it here by comparing these two skins. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna swap and we're gonna become Watson and we're gonna compare just like we were earlier. But we're gonna kind of shorten it because I think we're all kind of getting the point, but I kind of want you to see the difference of Wired for Speed versus the Explorer skin and how it looks on the same color palette. So let's take a look. Now, if we look from the same POV, we're gonna start with the Wired for Speed, which is Mari, he's helping me record his POV moving left and right. What would you say, how does this look from your POV? Because I'm not able to really see it. Is it does it blend in? How does it look? Uh, Definitely better than the Revenant did. For sure. I mean, it's the lighting's really good in this area, which I think helps with visibility. But compared to the yellow from the Revenant, like your legs especially, it can be a little bit harder to read your leg movement because there's like the white on the pants. Yeah, and that does matter because this map has a very diverse color palette. We're just talking about it, so it might as well reinforce it where some of the south has got more red, orange, and maybe green, and then up here is very white. So it's going to swap. I want to see your POV being more in the light there. The tr you know, the it's not that bad as, as, as I thought it would be for the Explorer skin. Because, I mean, the Explorer skin is designed to kind of be a bit of a camo, you know? I mean, just in the snow, it doesn't work. But if you mo move over more to the grass over here, I mean, it, it kind of works because you're still within the ballpark of it. I guess I'm kind of surprised. This is something to kind of keep in mind across the board, and we'll wrap up on this. Because I think all of you guys get the idea. Let me know your thoughts. Do you want a part two? Do you want us to extend this thought process? Do you want it more detailed? Thinking about these type of skins? Do we do this going forward? Thinking about the collection events and the usefulness of it. Because you're going to be honest, there are competitive advantages with certain skins and there are competitive massive disadvantages with skins as well. Something to really keep in mind when you are, well, finding your favorite skin. Uh, Mari, thank you so much for the help today. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.